Good morning, everyone. Happy Father's Day. I'm Doc Legendary, and here is a special Father's Day edition of the Sagely Shave. <laughs> Today, we're going to be shaving with a combination of iced pineapple and one of my favorites, Island Man, both from Sterling. And so today, we're going to talk about fatherhood while we shave, because I have a lot of things on my mind about fatherhood. So we're going to go ahead and get started here. I got my daily driver, my Henson Shaving AL 13 Mild. I've still got my Astra Platinum blade in. This is now day four. I usually after four or five days, I swap it out. I'll probably swap back to a Gillette Silver Blue on the next one, because I like to swap between. I like both those blades very well. And we're gonna get a little lather going here. We've got a preheated synthetic brush. Man, I love the synthetic brush. This is so great. Get some of the moisture out. Let's get a couple drops in there. Let's start lathering. All right, so I want to talk to you guys about being a dad because I was scared to death when I was younger about being a dad. And if you're young out there and you're, you're dating or maybe you're engaged or maybe you're married and don't have kids, like, you know what it's like to fall in love, right? Everyone knows what it's like to be infatuated, to lust after someone, to, to love someone. You know, marriage is on a different level than that. It's a whole deeper level of trust and, and love. There is nothing, and I mean nothing, like the love that you'll have for your son or your daughter. And I did not realize this until I held my daughter in my arms for my first time. And I had the luxury, since I'm a physician, of delivering my daughter um, and holding her. Um, that was a transformative, that was a transformative moment for me. I can still remember it. But I'll tell you a story. So last night at the gym, they had a daddy-daughter date night. I've had a rough week. I've had a lot of anxiety. Um, I hurt myself, injured myself. I got spasm in my neck and my chest. So my, my neck and my chest hurt. Everything was just bad yesterday. So I really didn't feel like going, you know? Um, we all have those moments where we feel like we don't want to go somewhere. But I forced myself to go. You know why? Because that is what being a dad is all about, right? You, sometimes you do things because you love your kids more than you love yourself. And I think that's a concept that our society has kind of lost over time is being selfless with our kids. You know, our kids don't, they don't want much from us. They don't, they don't want things that they'll, they'll ask for things, right? That's advertising. Um, but they want our time, they want our love, they want our attention. That's what they crave the most from us is our time, our love, and our attention. So I went last night and I had a good time, even though I hurt. I couldn't participate in all the activities. Um, but I did get on that balance beam. I did spot my daughter. Good job. All right, go back and do it one more time. And she told me last night when she went to bed, a little seven-year-old looked up at me and right in my eyes and said, Daddy, Thank you so much for coming tonight. I really appreciate it and I love you. That made it all worth it right there. And my son, when I get up in the morning and he comes and gives me a squeeze and goes in his uh, broken speech, go, love you, dad. Um, that's enough to keep you going. So I think it's important to note, another thing is fatherhood is that your kids watch everything that you do, what you say, what you interact. You say a curse word, man, they're going to repeat it. You know, um, you get mad and angry, and you, you know they're going to get mad and angry too. They're going to try to mimic whatever you do. And I used to not believe that. You know, 
before I had kids and I would see, you know, pediatric patients in my office, you know, like, you know, I, I knew what I was talking about. I know all the science, but you really don't know it until you have a kid of your own. Let me tell you, they, it is true. They mimic everything they do. They watch everything you say and how you interact with people. So, you know, I always try to be nice to people, I always try to be kind to folks. Um, cause I need to set that example because I want my children to grow up to be kind and loving to other people. Cause I think we need more of that in this world. So that's some more advice for you. Okay. We're going to shave across the grain here and then against the grain on the neck. Hopefully not too much irritation. And then finally, I want to, I just want to say how important it is. And I'm saying this from a physician's standpoint as well as a dad standpoint. The bond with your kids is very important at a young age. Some of you are dealing with some difficult situations out there. Maybe you have a broken relationship with your son or daughter. Maybe it's due to divorce. Maybe it's due to just, you know, being at odds. Maybe your kids are in that tween age or teenage years, which is even worse with social media these days, right? Because kids these days see what's on social media and think all of it is real when we all know that it is not. They're only seeing everyone's best and no one ever sees or talks about when we're at our worst, right? When we're most vulnerable. So if you have a broken relationship with one of your children or all your children, I encourage you to try to mend fences um, because time is not infinite. We're not promised tomorrow. And I can tell you every moment matters. If I could go back in time and spend more time with my dad, and I want to be clear, my father and I had a stellar relationship. But if I could go back in time and play one more round of golf with him, or hug him one more time, I would do it in a heartbeat. And so remember, your, your children look up to you even if there's a broken relationship, you matter to them. So I would, rec I would totally recommend trying to mend that relationship in a fall possible. Okay, time for a little rinse here. I think today we are going to need a little bit of the alum block. I got my shirt on. Yo, the best dad. The shirt I got last year. Oh, got something. Oh, no sting in the day. Pretty good, even shaving against the grain, even the neck. Thank God for a uh, nice, clean shave without any nicks. All right, time to grab a little towel here. Rinse off. Select our aftershave. Nice, clean shave. What do you guys think? Pretty good? Got some irritation on the neck here, not too bad. All right, so we gotta pick our aftershave. I'm gonna go with orange chill today. Get that nice menthol feeling going here for Father's Day. And finally, I just wanna tell you guys out there, if you have kids, Gobble them up today. Give them a hug and a kiss. Tell them how much you love them because they, they, they live and die by the affection that you give them. So I want to wish you all a happy Father's Day. Thank you for tuning in for another edition of the Sagely Shave. And remember, fatherhood is probably one of the most important roles that you will ever take on in your life if you're a dad. Take care, Doc Legendary Al.